Uh, I believe the radio has been working good. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for it. Uh, like we might have some rain showers coming over tonight. Amen. And so at least you got your radio tonight. So if it does start raining tonight, uh, you're able just to roll your windows up. Amen. Praise the Lord. A lot of you's out, sitting out tonight. And that's a tremendous blessing. I know people riding down the road, they're going to think, what's, what's wrong with that church? Amen. Uh, that church loves what it calls the front porch church. Amen. Praise the Lord. But uh, uh, I enjoy it. We can get out. We can worship. Amen. And praise the Lord. It's going to be a nice evening. Amen. And so we thank the Lord for giving us a good, uh, good breeze that's coming through tonight. And uh, we just thank the Lord for it. But I appreciate your faithfulness being back tonight. I uh, had a good service this morning, amen, and uh, we're just looking forward to seeing what the Lord has for us uh, this evening, amen. I'm going to have uh, Christopher come on around at this time, and he'll go ahead and lead us in some music. Y'all go ahead and y'all sing out, amen. I, 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 I miss, One thing I do miss, I've got Miss Susie's going to be doing a special tonight, but I miss getting, <laughs> a, getting to hear us all sing together, amen. I miss getting to hear you sing, and, and uh, I sure do miss that. And so, uh, y'all go ahead and you just sing out right where you at, praise the Lord. And I uh, wish I had enough microphones, amen. I'd just spread them out through all the cars, amen. Everybody all, all sing, amen. But maybe we'll get to a point, maybe we'll get where we can kind of spread out a little bit. Maybe we can have a, uh, get kind of a choir out here in the front or something sometime, amen. Get together and sing a little bit and just give the Lord all the praise and honor and glory, amen. Praise the Lord. I also want to let you know how much sure do love you, amen. I appreciate Maranatha Baptist Church, amen. I just want to say that from the bottom of my heart, how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. I was thinking today how, how, how blessed we are, amen. I feel so blessed as a pastor to be your pastor, amen. amen. I thank God for that tonight. I want to tell you how much I appreciate all of you. I appreciate your faithfulness. I appreciate all your families and all that you do. Uh, you're just a wonderful, wonderful church. I don't deserve you to be at such a wonderful, wonderful church, a wonderful church family, and I appreciate and love you so much. I don't ever want to overlook uh, the church family right here. I appreciate all the ones online. I appreciate all the ones in our neighborhood. But I tell you what, I appreciate a wonderful church family that you, you stick together through tough times, hard times. Uh, we've gone through some trials and tribulations, it feels like, you know, but the Lord's taking good care of us, amen? amen. And uh, we just grow stronger through all of this, amen? And praise the Lord. All right, Christopher, you come on, son, if you would, please. Let's go ahead and let's get started and uh, do some good singing tonight, amen.
Lynn's going to be coming around to take up the offer now. I'll go ahead and pray over it. Lord bless the service this evening. <coughs> bless the singing and preaching that will go to your will. We pray over this offering, Lord. Bless them that have it and that don't. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessing. Don't the piano sound good tonight? Amen. Brother Mike did a wonderful job tonight. Uh, I come out of my office there and I, I said, Well, I wonder what that CD is. Amen. Well, I tell you what, that sure sounds good. And Brother Mike was cutting loose. Amen. I might get in here just a moment. I uh, guess Susie's going to sing for us, but I might get him to go ahead and do a little special like he was doing. Amen. And uh, cut loose on that thing. Sure does have it sounding good. And, uh, what a wonderful talent there the Lord has given Brother Mike to play. So we surely appreciate that uh, so much. I did want to uh, give you an update there and uh, keep praying there for the Alexander family there. Cheryl Alexander, keep praying there for them. And uh, get, did get to uh, speak with them on the phone. I'm going back to church. I talked to Mike for a while. And Brother Mike, he was, he was having a little nap time. Amen. They didn't want to disturb them during the nap time. So, uh, But they did have some good chicken today. Amen. And I uh, had a family take some chicken by, so they had some good chicken they got to eat today. Had a good lunch there. And I've already mentioned if you want to uh, uh, take them some food, uh, all you have to do is just see my wife. She just wanted to try to get coordinated where we didn't have a lot of food going at one time. Amen. And so if you wanted to do some, uh, take some food to them, uh, that'd be a tremendous blessing. But, and, and they sure would enjoy you coming to see them. Amen. And uh, Brother Mike, I know he would enjoy that. But Miss Cheryl is, is uh, having a, another good day since she ate uh, uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Amen. Ate some uh, fried chicken. Amen. Well, and ate a biscuit. Amen. And so we just praise the Lord. Amen. So that's a uh, uh, that's a wonderful sign to see the Lord's touching her. Amen. amen. She's getting uh, getting filled up. Amen. So we just thank the Lord there for his touching there. So y'all keep praying there for the uh, Alexander family there and Miss Cheryl. And so, Lord willing, we'll be by tonight and spend some time with them. And bless your heart, spend some time with the Alexander family. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful family. Mm -hmm. Keep praying there for Miss Juanita. Uh, Miss Juanita, of course, she's under hospice care. And y'all keep praying there. Uh, her situation's about the same tonight. And uh, so y'all really be praying there for Miss Juanita and her family there. Really be praying for her daughter, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Tammy. If you would please, Miss Tammy, she's a, a caretaker, and I know there's, uh, of course, we got the sons taking care too. 
and they're try, all trying to work and take care of their families and take care of mama. And so y'all really be praying there. I do appreciate a wonderful church that's uh, taking good care of her. Amen. She's still living there in the church parsonage. And, uh, and, and that church has been really doing a good job uh, taking care of her. And so we just praise the Lord uh, for all, all what they've done there. Uh, so let's keep praying there for uh, also our missionaries. My mother and father's not here tonight. They're at a church tonight and uh, presenting the ministry. And so we just praise the Lord and for the time they've been able to spend with us. Amen. But they had to get out some more. Pray there. I, I want to mention one prayer request I hadn't mentioned. Uh, continue to pray there for uh, my grandmother. Uh, that uh, Bo's been taking care of my grandmother there, and so y'all would be praying there for, for her. She's uh, had some health challenges there in her life, and so really be lifting my grandmother up in, in prayer. She's 87 years old now, and so y'all would be praying there for, for her, if you would please, and, uh, and her health condition there. So as we go to the Lord in prayer, I want to ask Him to reach down and touch all these many, many needs that we that we have. And then right after this, we'll go ahead and we'll have Miss Susie come up, and she's going to sing tonight, and whoever else will be singing with her. And go ahead and we'll just give Lord all the honor and the glory and the praise tonight. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, Lord, we love you. Uh, Lord, we thank you and praise you for your love and your grace and your mercy. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, just for the opportunity, Lord, I can... Uh, come to your house again, Father. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for these brothers and sisters, Lord, that we can come together and we can worship together. And God, Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord, for all the love that's in hearts here, Lord. But most of all, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for your love for us. And Lord, we get to thinking about your love and how much you love us tonight, Lord. We we can't help but rejoice. No, we can't help but tell somebody about you. Tell tell somebody about that name, the name above every name, the name of Jesus. Lord, we just can't praise you enough, Lord. God, Lord, I just pray, Lord, as we humble our hearts, Lord, we humble ourselves tonight. I just pray, Father, Lord, if there's one, Lord, is hurting tonight. Lord, you reach down and touch that family. Lord, you reach down and, and touch someone in a home, Lord. Uh, the devil's trying to do everything he could, Lord, uh, to, to try to tear a home apart. God, Lord, or, or one that's discouraged, Lord, they got a lot of health needs in their life. God, Lord, I just pray, God, Lord, you reach down and touch them, Lord, in a special way tonight. Lord, these ones that's under hospice care. God, Lord, I just pray, God, Lord, you just give them a special touch, Lord. Lord, Lord, I know, Lord, you raise them up. Lord, I, Lord, I know, Lord, if it's your will, Lord, you put them right back on their feet, God, Lord, and heal their bodies. God, Lord, you're a miracle-working God. God, Lord, but most of all, Lord, if there's one that's lost, uh, Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, Lord, there'd be conviction on that heart. Lord, they wouldn't turn you away. God, Lord, they'd accept you, Lord. They'd be born again. And Father, Lord, Lord, we know, Lord, you're faithful. Lord, we know, Lord, you'll save them. Lord, they'll spend eternity, Lord, there in heaven with you. God, Lord, we love you, thank you, and praise you. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Miss Susie, if you'd make your way on up, young lady, I sure would appreciate it. Appreciate Miss Susie. Amen. She's our one to those who's watching online. She takes care of our all of our cameras, and, and so we appreciate that so much. And so we're going to get her out front tonight, amen, and go ahead and do some singing. Amen. Praise Lord. Yeah. 
Listen tonight, how many can say that the Lord's been good to you tonight? Amen. 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 I, I love that song tonight, and I know they're going to do another song tonight. I praise God for it. That's all right. We'll sing, give him honor and glory and praise tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. It's all right we can cut loose. Amen. He has. Amen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have them tonight. They're going to sing another song, but I'm going to have them also to sing another stanza of He Has tonight. Now, I want you to think about what's going on in your life tonight. What, what's taking place in your life tonight? Boy, I'm telling you what. Boy, he's the greatest friend we have. Amen. Right. Amen. Boy, he sticks close to us. Amen. He loves us. Amen. He walks with us. He'll never leave you or forsake you. There's a lot of ones that leave you or forsake you, but praise God, I'm glad he don't. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and sing some more tonight. Praise God. Amen.
Amen. What a blessing tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Appreciate the good singing, the good playing tonight. Amen. What a blessing. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What a tremendous blessing tonight. Praise the Lord tonight. Y'all hear me okay? This fine. Amen. Praise the Lord. I think I've got a big enough mouth tonight. Y'all hear? Amen. Praise the Lord. Boy, I tell you what. I, I'm glad there's a place and a refuge we can go when there's a time of need in our life. Amen. Amen. I'm glad there's a safe haven that we can go to. I, I was just turning to my Bible and I was just thinking about Psalms 91. Amen. And the Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. I'm glad there's a secret place we can go to tonight. Amen. I'm glad there's a place under His arms tonight, the arms of protection tonight, that we can go to in a time of need, in a time of trouble. But I like what this scripture says. As it goes on in the, down in the verse 9, the Bible says, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, uh, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil fall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. I'm glad we have promises from the word of God tonight. Amen. He'll take care of his children. Amen. I'm glad tonight. Listen, I'm glad I'm part of the family of God tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. We can't give them enough praise tonight. Amen. As we see plagues across our land, as we see problems taking place across our land, I'm glad there's a refuge that we can go to tonight. Yeah, we can give him honor and glory and praise. Turning your Bibles over to Ephesians tonight. We're going to finish up Ephesians chapter 3 tonight. I'm going to hit a, another verse here. Of Apostle Paul was talking here to the church of Ephesus. And I'll try to give you a little bit of update there uh, where Paul was. Paul this time, he was in prison. Paul was not in a good place. And, and Paul was in prison in Rome. And, and, and it's amazing to me to see a, a man that is in prison, a place that's not a good place to be, a place that none of us would want to be. But Paul sends back and gives word of encouragement uh, to try to encourage the believers exactly where they're at. And so I want us tonight to focus, as we this morning, we focused on being rooted and being grounded uh, in his love. I want us to, tonight to read on just a little farther and start in verse 19. And, and the Bible says of chapter 3, and it says, And to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him to be glory in the church of Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Father, Lord, we love you tonight. And God, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for good singing tonight. Oh, Lord, oh, what a the precious name tonight. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus tonight, praise God. Lord, I've already felt the Holy Ghost already. Lord, I've already felt you touching already, Lord, before we can get started. God, Lord, what a great blessing tonight. Lord, we can come to your house tonight. Lord, we can come together as a body of believers just to give you honor and glory. Lord, help me, Lord, to get out of the way. Help me tonight, Lord, to humble myself, God. Lord, ain't nothing, Lord, in me tonight. Lord, it's all about you, God. Lord, forgive me, Lord, even the way, Lord, I, I've fallen short, Lord. Lord, I know that, Lord, each and every one of us, Lord, every day, Lord, we fall short. Lord, we don't want anything. I don't want anything standing in the way, Lord, between here and your throne room of grace, Lord, if there's one that stands in need tonight, Lord. Oh, God, Lord, I need a great touch of the Holy Ghost, Lord, uh, down upon the preaching of your word tonight, Lord. Lord, we love you and thank you and praise you. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen and amen. I appreciate the good singing tonight. I appreciate the good praising already as we're at the house of God tonight. I appreciate the good spirit tonight. There's already been a good spirit already here at the house of God. I'm glad the spirit of God can move outside just like can inside the house of God. Amen. 
I don't understand all of this, but I know one thing. Boy, we've seen a great movement of God. Amen. We've seen some great unity together. We've seen some great love come together. I can't help but just give him praise for all of that. We talked this morning about the love and being rooted and grounded in the love. Paul said in verse 18, he says, may be able to comprehend. Paul says, we, we, we have a hard time even understanding the love of our Lord Jesus Christ and how much he loves us and how much he cares for us. And then Paul described this about the, the birth, the width, and the, and the length, and the depth, and the height. And we get to thinking about all the love of Jesus tonight. And Paul goes on in verse 19, and he tells them, and to know the love of Christ. And I pray tonight that if we try to understand how much he loves us tonight, I pray tonight that you know tonight and try to comprehend tonight. We can never understand all of how much he loves us tonight. There's no way that in, in these minds, in these feeble minds of ours, that we can gather how much Jesus loves us and how much he cares for us tonight. But I want us just to dwell on just a little bit of that love of Jesus and how much he loves us. Is it all right tonight to just brag on Jesus? Is it all right that we can just spend services lifting up Jesus instead of spending time lifting up ourselves? Instead of spending time lifting up our, our, our checking accounts or lifting up our, how much are we done? Hey, listen, it ain't nothing about us tonight. Hey, man, we'll fall short. It's only on the blood of Jesus tonight that we can stand and we can worship tonight. I believe it's all right. We just lift up Jesus. Hey, listen, that's the only way we're going to see people get saved. Hey, Amen. Amen. That's the only way we're going to see a great movement of the Holy Ghost. I want tonight, if we could please tonight, look there. Paul says, to know the love of Christ is past this knowledge. My mind, my old brain ain't real big. No, I, listen tonight, don't y'all be saying amen, praise the Lord, amen. Hey, hey, listen tonight. I, hey, listen, I, I'm telling you what. Uh, my, mind is, uh, some people might say, what they say a lot of times, hey, li listen, his elevator don't go all the way to the top, amen. Uh, hey, listen, <laughs> Hey, listen, I, you can call me what you want to tonight. But I do comprehend one thing tonight, that Jesus loves me tonight. Amen. I'm telling Amen. you what, if you'll get a hold of that tonight, you can worship and you can praise him tonight. Amen. And we talked about that this morning. And, our, and Paul says, listen, our knowledge, we can't, we can't comprehend this. We, we can't understand it all. I'll tell you one thing. When I get a hold of it like I did this morning, I don't know if it did anything for you, but it got me excited. Paul goes on to say that you might be filled, filled with all the fullness of God. I'm telling you, you may be empty here tonight. You may be at a quarter of the way. You may be half of the way or three quarters away. But let me tell you here tonight, let me tell you here tonight, brothers and sisters in Christ, you can be filled tonight. Amen. You don't have to just be part of the way. I'm glad tonight in the love of Jesus tonight, when you get a hold of it tonight, you can be filled tonight. I like when the church gets filled and the church house is filled up. Hey, listen, I like when people's excited. And I ain't talking about numbers. I ain't talking about the church house being full. Hey, listen, I've seen a many of them this full. I'm telling you what, God's far from them. I've seen a many of them that's had a many of crowds. And hey, listen, there ain't no movement of the Holy Ghost. But I've seen some churches, they didn't have no money. I've seen some churches had a small crowd. Boy, I'm telling you what, when you walked in the doors, you knew that God was meeting with them. You knew the Holy Ghost was a moving in the church, praise God. Amen. Hey, listen, it don't take a big crowd to praise Jesus, amen. I thank God for the good crowd that's here tonight. But I'm glad I can praise him if there was two cars here tonight. I'm glad I could praise him if there was I was here by myself. I could give him all the honor, the glory, and the praise tonight. When I think about his love and trying to just a little bit comprehend how much he loves us tonight, then we can be filled tonight. Now listen, I want to go through just a just a few tonight. I, I believe tonight I want to talk about a little bit about rocks tonight. And, and I know there's rocks that we know as we go back and we see there in, in Joshua there as they cross over the Jordan River. And, and we know there was those rocks as a memorial for another generation to remember and go back and, and, and think about what God had brought them from and how God had taken care of them. And I believe tonight they can be some good rocks. And I believe tonight they can be some bad rocks tonight. But I feel like God's laid on my heart tonight because Paul deals with both of these over 
in chapter 4, and it, well, you'll see there in verse 31 about I believe there could be some rocks that's taking up space in our life. And there's some things that's holding us back and we need to get out of our life. But I believe tonight there could be some memorials and some rocks that we can go back and we can look at tonight. Then we can praise Jesus tonight. And I want you to look there in verse 20, and the Bible says, Now unto him that is able, I serve a God tonight that is able. Amen. Amen. I want you to think about what he's done in your life and how he is able to take care of you and how he's already taken care of you. I serve a God tonight. He's able tonight. I know he's able and I've got a peace in my life and a comfort in my life that he is able tonight to whatever's going on in my life. I serve a God tonight. I know that he is able. I'm not able tonight, but he is able tonight. He is able to reach down and touch you wherever you're at tonight. He is able. And then Paul goes on to say, to do exceedingly and abundantly above. I'm glad tonight, listen, I serve a God tonight. Hey, listen tonight, he'll go above and beyond tonight. Hey, listen, amen, praise God. Hey, listen, I'm glad we get the best tonight, amen. I'm glad there's a best and we get to go to glory, amen. He's going to prepare a place for us. He wants the best for you tonight, amen. Praise the Lord. Now, when I say the best tonight, I don't mean just the best tonight in material things. Some of the material things we have takes away from the joy in our lives. That's right. Boy, I've seen times we ain't got nothing. It seems like that's when we've seen the greatest movement of God. When the church realizes it ain't about the material things that you've got. It is all about Jesus. It is Him alone tonight. Lifting Him up tonight. You know, it's amazing how if we'll get our eyes off of material things tonight, that seems like when we get down on our knees, we get back to pray and we humble ourselves. We start asking God and begging God. We wonder many times a day why there was such great revivals years ago. We question many times. Preacher, why did we see a great movement of God? It wasn't because he had money. It wasn't because they had anything fancy. It wasn't because somebody babied them. It wasn't because they had the best education. There's a many uh, men of God, ladies of God, that didn't have any education. It was because they didn't have any of this old material things to distract them. And they just loved Jesus. And they remember what the, there was a stone in their life that they could go back to when they had gotten saved. And where God had brought them out of a miry clay, where God had raised them up and put them on their feet, put them on a solid rock foundation. And they could go back to that old rock. They could go back to those stones in their life. And they could remember what God, how he took good care of them, how he blessed them and took care of their families when they didn't know where the next meal was going to come from. How God took care of them when they know how they was going to keep the power on. How God took care of them when they had a baby that was sick. They didn't know how they was going to afford to even pay a doctor or even get them to a doctor. And they remember how God brought them out of that. And I believe we've come so far that we got to a point we don't have any stones to go back and look at anymore. Because we got to a point where we got everything at the tip of our fingers tonight. And I didn't mean to go here with this. I just feel led by the Holy Ghost. Keep walking just a minute. But I believe tonight that we've got so many material things in our life tonight. There's nothing wrong. God's blessed you. God has taken care of us. But I believe so many times we just get so distracted, can't we? That's right. I believe so many times we don't have the stone. We feel like it's something we've done in ourselves. No, sir. No, sir. I can walk in on a job tomorrow and they can say I no longer need you anymore. I can walk in. I can go home tonight. I was struck before I get out of this church house tonight, and I no longer could walk anymore. I'd be confined to a wheelchair the rest of my life. Let me tell you here tonight, it's only by the grace of God that I can get out of bed in the morning, and I can right. go on a job, and I can go and I can work. It's only because of the love of Jesus, only because of Him tonight. Amen. It's nothing in me tonight. Oh, no. Lord, we need some stones that we can go back to. If we get our eyes on some stones, we can go back to them. Remember, for future generations, for our youngins to go back and say, Oh, yeah, I remember Papa. 
I remember Grandpa. Oh, how God took care of Grandpa. I believe he'll take care of us. I believe we can trust him to take care of us. I believe he'll take care of whatever our needs that there is in our life. I believe we need some stones to go back to. We can go back. We can look back. Listen tonight. He says, hey, listen. He is able. He'll do it exceedingly and abundantly above. Oh, I'm glad we got a place we can go and we can ask tonight, church. Mm -hmm. All that we ask tonight. You may be asking for something in your life. I, I started praying a while back about some things. And I've said to God, He's blessed above. He's blessed above what I've ever asked for. I asked to see a church that was stirred, see a spirit that's been stirred. I didn't know how the Lord, how that would take place. But I'm telling you what, I asked the Lord to give me a, a stirring in my heart and I wouldn't get content. I wouldn't get to a point in my life where I'd get up and preach the Word and I'd just go through a routine. I wanted the Holy Ghost to move. Boy, what a blessing. I get so excited every time I can stand up and preach. Every time I can come to the house of God. Every time I can open His Word and preach. Oh, He's done it above what I've asked for. Oh, I ask Him, I ask Him, Lord. Lord, I need a touch. And he's, a, he's touched me a whole lot more above what I've ever asked for. And I say tonight, some of you sitting out tonight, you've asked Him for something. You've been praying for Him for something. Praise God. He's blessed you above what, above what you ever thought you'd ever be blessed. Amen. Oh, he's answered the prayer that you've asked for so long. God's answered that prayer. And let me tell you here tonight, he gives us a promise. You may say tonight, well, preacher, I've been praying. And I hadn't seen the answer that prayer. You wait on him, dear sister, dear brother, tonight. I can tell you one thing. He gives you a promise tonight. Oh, he's going to answer that prayer above and beyond what you ever right. asked for Amen. tonight. Amen. He's going to take care of you tonight. Oh, that's a promise tonight. Amen. I'm glad this is a promise in his word tonight. Amen. And then we see there Paul goes on to say, ask or even think. I thought about things. I've imagined things. Well, I prayed for things and I've got to thinking about things I'd love to see. Part of the things in my life that I'd like to see take place. I'm here to tell you tonight, have the testimony tonight. Our oh boy, he has blessed me above that. There ain't anything that I could ever imagine. Boy, I'm telling you what, getting to serve the Lord. There's no greater joy than to serve him, amen. That's right. There's no greater joy than tonight to hear ones get up and sing tonight and sing for Jesus. And see young folks that praise the Lord. Oh, lift up the name of Jesus tonight. Oh, I never could imagine. I never could imagine to see how much I'd be able to see that be blessed of one day stand behind a pulpit, to be able to walk into a church house, to be able to say, praise God, I can come with a brothers and sisters in Christ and they're faithful to come to the house of God and hear from his word. I never could imagine that tonight. I'm glad tonight. He gives a promise tonight. If you want to be filled tonight, church, I want you to have some stones in your life that you can go back to. Something that you've asked for. Something that you've prayed for. Something that you imagine that you want to see the Lord do in your life. Go back and remember what already He's already done. I know many times we want to say, hey, listen, I'm going to lay out a fleece. Yeah, now listen, I've done that. And I want to say already, he's already blessed us abundantly already here tonight. He's already taken good care of us tonight. Go back and remember those stones and how the Lord's taking care of you. I brought some jars tonight. Lay down on these old chairs tonight. Now it's got to thinking. I was thinking about some things I could, I wanted to try to show you something. I don't know what it'll turn out to be tonight. I just got thinking about things in our life. Lastly, in verse 21, it says unto him, Be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world, without end. I underlined in my Bible, out all ages. I'm glad tonight. I'm glad that stone when I'm dead and gone, I passed on. 
I'm glad there's another generation that can go back and see those blessings of God and what God has done at Cornerstone and go back and see how God has blessed. God has blessed above and beyond tonight. I, I want to try to wrap up tonight. I, I thought about a few things. I've got a few jars. I, yeah, they're all out here tonight. I thought about a few things tonight. As we think about the, we think about the different stones in our life. And I want us to think tonight, if you would please, I want you to think about in your Christian walk, the different categories we see of, of people. There was a time when you was lost and a time when you got saved and a, and a time in your life when you was excited. I would say tonight when you got saved, but you're not excited. Was there, was, there not a, was there not a stirring in your heart? Mm -hmm. he, was, he was excited, amen? And, and listen, that's one of your stones that you can go back to and you can remember when you got saved, amen? Don't ever listen. They should be every one of us tonight. There's a time in your life. I'm not saying that maybe you remember the date. Maybe you remember the time or you remember the, the day. But you know there was a change in your life when you got born again and you got saved. It's a stone that you can have in your life that you can go back to no matter how bad times get, no matter how bad situations you can go back. Lord, I got saved. And there's times in your life you go back and you think about how God's brought you out of a out of a, out of a sickness that you had in your life. Uh, something was going on and touched your children. Some of you has got uh, children here tonight. I don't know, Mike, Marty, y'all got children. God's touched them and blessed them. And, and they had sicknesses in their life. That's another stone that you had to go back. You give God all the honor and glory for that. And I don't mean the rest of you tonight. And you've got those those stones in your life. And you know, I, I, I thought about when the ones that's gotten saved years ago. And they've been saved a long, long time. And, and there'll be a, a category that, listen, they'll, they've been saved a long time. I know they've been saved about the same amount of time. But one can come in and praise the Lord and be so excited and, and just worship. And I don't mean it don't have to be that you raise your hand or run around and, and jump pews and, and do all of that. I enjoy that, but praise the Lord. I mean, you've got to do that, amen. But it can, all, it can be on the inside and rejoicing. But that can also be another one that has forgot about the stones in your life and what God's done for you. And you're not, you're not being filled. And you, and you come in and you come to worship and you just down and see the devil's brought up something that's happened to you that week. Break up and take him back to the altar. To an old-fashioned altar. I think of that song. An old-fashioned altar. Oh, where the Spirit of God got to move him. Take him back to that place. Remind him. Hey, I'm a child of God. I am saved. Well, I'm telling you what. I thought about tonight there's one group that's You've never been saved. You just hit me tonight. You got nothing. You come into the church house and there's nothing. There's nothing. You come in and you worship in your emotions and your feelings. And what is that? Well, you come into church and you're worshiping your praise just for a little bit as an outward, but you leave, there's nothing happening on the inside. You got an emotion. Hey, listen, there's nothing. The jar is empty. There's nothing there. And then we have another one tonight that you got a jar tonight that is that is full and, and, and filled up. But tonight, you hadn't done anything in a long time. There hadn't been a great stirring in your heart. You just kind of sit in one spot. You say you're born again. But the stirring, that the same stirring that you had when you were so excited when you got saved. Just like when you remember when you got married? You remember how excited you were and how you loved each other? Hey, listen. Remember I told you about the bride and the bridegroom? The bridegroom is Jesus Christ our Lord. And the bride is the church. Remember how you got saved and you got born again? And listen tonight, and there's another category of ones that's got some stones. And I tonight you're thinking, what's the stones in the, in the jar tonight? Well, listen, I would say tonight that, listen, there's this jar tonight does not have as much liquid in it as this jar does. Now, this is reversed tonight of what we normally 
We talk about emptying ourselves out. But tonight, this jar has got stones. This individual can go back and remember they're already ready to start praising Jesus when they walk up. Amen. Uh -huh. Because they already gone back and they remember the stones in their life. They already have filled up already. They, hey, listen, it ain't going to take much, a little bitty spark. And boy, I'm telling you what, they're ready to start running some chairs, hey man, and praising Jesus. Amen. Listen, it ain't going to take an overhaul for this one to start praising. I'm telling you tonight, I got, I got to think about a few things tonight. And I, I said, you know, I, I don't know what this will do. We're going to try this. What's these things here? Amen. Alka seltzers. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody got a cold or a flu tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. Amen. I'm gonna. I, I, I had a. I had somebody told me. Said you need to try that. I'm gonna try it tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but you know, there's be a, a great stirring takes place. So this one, I see what he does. Praise God. Amen. So there's be a stirring on the inside. Amen. And he got it gets excited. See a great work, and amen. They got to hear that good singing. Hey, we just dump them all in there. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let him go. Amen. <laughs> Listen tonight. Maybe you're here tonight, and maybe there's you didn't have all the stones tonight to, to go back to. And they say it's starting to bubble over. Amen. You don't have everything to go back to tonight. Maybe you say tonight, well, preacher, I haven't been part of a great revival. I, I haven't had all those things. You, you go back and you bring up things that's happened in your life. Let me tell you tonight. Hey, listen, you can have a stirring in your heart. You come and ask him tonight. Start praying tonight. Boy, I like this. Change your color. You're going to fool around and turn red. Boy, that's getting good already. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Woo! Boy, you think about the blood of Jesus tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I like it. Amen. Bubbling over. Why, well, tonight, we need to just get a good old touch of the Holy Ghost tonight. To somebody tonight that you, uh, hey, listen, you need to have some stones in your life you can go back to tonight. Amen. Praise God. Is your jar empty tonight? I don't know. Hey, listen, you need a great stir tonight. You need to be filled up tonight, amen. Or you need to be this one over, praise the Lord, amen. Boy, oh, nothing got plumb wild, amen. <laughs> amen. Boy, I'm getting hot out here. I might not want to dump it on my head tonight, praise the Lord. <laughs> I said, we'll see that, preacher. I want to check that out, amen. <laughs> listen tonight. I want to see this as a church night. Paul was trying to tell the church there at Ephesus that God has blessed you above what you've ever asked or even thought. That's right. God has taken good care of you tonight. And that's a song tonight. I, I, listen, tonight you may say, Preacher, I wish I had a talent. I wish I could do something. I wish I could, I, I wish I could sing. I would, listen, you sing for him tonight. You give him praise, and I, hey, listen, anything that's got breath, praise the Lord. That's right. Listen, uh, tell somebody about Jesus, whatever the Lord's called you to, serve him tonight. But I want to see a church, see Christians tonight. Hey, listen, maybe it's time that you get some stones that you can go back to and you remember tonight. If you'll go back and you'll start remembering what God has done for you tonight, I can guarantee you. You're going to start praising the Lord. That's right. I don't know what all he has done for you tonight, but I can guarantee you there's going to be ones that will just thank him and praise him and give him honor and glory and praise. Mm -hmm. a, I, I tell you, I was a, when I was reading this scripture, I, I, I sprayed the mind. I said, Lord, I, I should move to something else. I should move to some other, other scriptures and move to another message, but I just... I just felt on my heart, I, I said to my wife, I said, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a simple verse of Scripture. And I'm telling you what, it says so much. In our churches many times, what is it in our, in our life that we need to go back to and remember? I believe right where we're at tonight, church. I feel a great movement of the Holy Ghost down upon these grounds. A great movement and a great touching. I, I'm not upset tonight or, or, or feel discouraged tonight about what's taking place right here at Maranatha Baptist Church. I, I pray that all of us just give him glory and praise. Let's just stay in, in the will of God tonight and continue to see the Holy Ghost move. I told you this morning, uh, listen tonight, whether wherever we meet at on, on the roof of the church, 
in this parking lot, uh, wherever we need to meet at, as long as we can see the Holy Ghost that is moving and we get out of the way, we lift up the name of Jesus, I can guarantee you that we can see revival, we can see people get saved, we can see families that are touched, families that are changed, and we'll give him all the honor and the glory and the praise. Amen. Amen. Brother Mike, you come to the uh, piano tonight. Brother Mike plays tonight, maybe on your heart tonight, maybe maybe you need to go and you need to pray tonight. And think about a, maybe there's a stone in your life you need to go back to. So Lord, I want to be filled. Lord, I, I don't want to be half filled anymore. I don't want to be quarter way filled. And I definitely, Lord, if I'm empty tonight and I'm lost tonight, Lord, help me to search my heart tonight. Conviction on my heart to show me, Lord, I'm lost and I'm undone. Maybe somebody's watching tonight online. Maybe you've never been saved and you're just an empty jar. And the whole reason that you can't figure out when you come to the house of God or any time that the Word of God is being read and you can't figure out why there's no stirring, it's just an emotional stirring. Maybe because your jar is empty all along. Maybe because you've never been saved. You've never been truly born again. And there may be one here tonight that your jar you saved, you got to the dwelling of the Holy Ghost, if you're saved tonight, you got that dwell in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit tonight. And I praise God for that. Amen. Amen. Maybe tonight, maybe you need to ask the Lord, and I need to stir him. I need to be bubbling back over. I want to be back excited like I was at one time. There's nothing more that gets me excited to see God's people that can disgrace. I don't well, listen, we don't have to come here to the church house and have a big formal layout of everything, and this song's got to be sung at this time, and we got to preach this time. Maybe times there's no preaching at all, and we can just praise. That's all right. That's all right. Maybe maybe we could just, uh, somebody that would get down and we just pray. That's all right. We just get out of the way, whatever it takes to, to get filled. Amen. Oh, we need a great feeling of, of the Lord tonight. If you need that touch tonight, why don't you ask Him and Pray tonight. Hey, listen, you can you can get around. Maybe you just need to get around this thinking tonight. And just go back to that stone tonight. I guarantee you, if you go back and you think about what he's done for you, I guarantee you, you'll be filled when you leave here tonight. Don't leave the house of God the same way you came in. No, don't leave and, and leave here tonight discouraged and down and out. Uh, listen tonight. We need to leave out of here shouting and praising. Give him honor and glory tonight. Amen. Amen. As Brother Mike, he plays tonight. Be glad to pray with you. If anybody pray with you, be glad to help you in any kind of way. The Word of God tonight. Amen. Brother Mike plays.
didn't want to say tonight. What a great blessing there. Uh, little James came forward tonight. He just wanted to ask prayer for another young man, uh, Sean Potts. He's the one that has came um, to, the, to the church a few times. You've seen him here at the church, a little young man there. Uh, I meant to mention this, and I apologize for that, but we came up and prayed tonight. Um, I had to take him over to the hospital, and I had some sugar issues. He struggles with his sugar, and so uh, they had him in ICU, and they've got him in a regular room now. And so, for little Sean, if y'all would, let's really pray there for him and uh, lift him up in, in prayer, if you would, please. And uh, I'm going to tonight, I'm going to have uh, Brother Mikey, I'm going to have him come and, uh, and pray with these many needs tonight as we close out in the word of prayer. And uh, let's just really pray for this young man, if you would, please, as he stands in great need. And please keep praying there. Uh, I know we pray for several more prayer lists. Pray there for Pastor Jimmy Anthony. Uh, really lift him up in prayer. Um, his mom and his dad are having health complications. He's with his father around the clock pretty much, pastoring a church. And I know this has uh, got to be a great challenge to him. I've, as I've uh, got to speak with him, uh, I can tell that he's, that he's tired. And so y'all really be praying there for Pastor Jimmy Anthony, uh, dear, dear friend, loves the Lord, amen. And so y'all really be praying there for Pastor Jimmy Anthony also and uh, this little young man, Sean, tonight. Be careful uh, tonight as you go home tonight. We love you. Keep praying there. And if you would, if you can do a meal there for uh, the family there, the Alexanders, uh, that'd be a tremendous blessing. Maybe in the future, church, I want to ask you this. Maybe in the future we can, uh, I'm not asking you tonight. To, I know many of you, got. we've all got uh, tight budgets. I'm not asking you to take a lot of out of your budget, but I'm asking maybe something that, Maybe you got something you could cook and, and things. So in the future, maybe uh, we got a family. Maybe you wouldn't mind maybe some side dish or something that you'd be willing to cook. I know we got many ladies and, and I'm sure men too that can cook very well. And I think this is a tremendous blessing. Amen. There's nothing m more wonderful than a good home cooked meal. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, uh, I I do enjoy eating out as much as anybody. But I tell you, it's a blessing when we can have a good home cooked meal. Amen. I'd say tonight my wife is about spoiling me rotten, amen, <laughs> and I've got to stop and get too spoiled, amen. She spent time at home, and uh, praise the Lord. I, I'm telling you what, it's that time to turn around. It's another, another meal, another another good sweet, amen. I'm, I have to be careful, amen, praise the Lord. But but uh, if, if you would like to do that, maybe in the future, please, if you would, maybe just, just come to us and mention it to us, and we'll be more happy to get you lined up to do a little a little cooking there, amen, praise the Lord. Love all of you, church. I appreciate you so much. Love all the ones online. Thank you for joining us online. And love our neighborhood, amen, tonight. And appreciate them. So thank you for our neighbors tonight. I, I want to say I appreciate uh, Brother Daryl back here and what a blessing uh, they, they've been to be able to reach out uh, to, to, try to try to help us. They always try to let me know uh, how things are going around the church, amen. And also the uh, neighbors over here with the uh, antique store over here. And I appreciate them, amen, uh, and the love there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one commercial, and I ain't going, and I don't like to do this, amen. But I, I will say it, amen. Uh, this wonderful uh, couple over here, um, I did get to go over there. Now they've got a place there from uh, ten to five, uh, Monday through Saturdays there, and they got a little, a little diner there. If you were gonna go in there and get you something to eat right here at the church, maybe sometime you can, you can step in there, and get you, a, get you a hot dog, or they gonna have some good barbecue, amen. And so I saw commercials I'm going to do from the pulpit. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I didn't want to share that with you. Amen. And uh, but praise the Lord. We appreciate our neighbors. And they do listen. Amen. And uh, we love and appreciate the sport and, and Brother Jeff also. So let's go ahead and be dismissed with a word of prayer, Brother Mike. If you come on this time and uh, I pray as we dismiss. Lord, thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for Whenever you do something, do it in front of us. See you with us on the cast, please, Lord. God, see that so many times more, Lord. So I thank you for every place you can make today, Lord. Lord, we lay your hands from the Lord according to your will, Lord. I thank you for those who are seeking the hospital, Lord. For the old boy, Lord. And I'm kind of hard to come to see the Lord. Thank you for giving God the wisdom, Lord. And pray for the fire, Lord. You know what it means, Lord. You know what it means. You know what it takes away, Lord. I pray for you to help us, Lord. Stay true to you, Lord. Stay faithful, Lord. You've been faithful to us, Lord. You never fail us. Lord, I pray for our country, Lord, and leaders. Lord, you've been given the wisdom, 
Lord, we continue your work in peace, Lord. We thank you for the healing we have in this country, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our children, Lord. Lord, thank you for our past, Lord, to take care of this family. Yes, please, Lord. We pray, Lord, for these seven church leaders that have been made in front of us. Pray for a mission, Lord, that has been in our hands, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our friends in India, Lord, for taking care of that man, Lord, because I'm really proud of that church. Lord, we thank you, Lord, thank you for your hand, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us, Lord. Visit us, Lord, Lord, and we pray in your name.